Hey guys, I'm Avish and this is first introduction video for .NET MIUI with Sync Fusion controls. In this video, we will discuss what is .NET Multi-Platform App UI, which is also called as .NET MIUI. Before starting off the code development with Sync Fusion controls, let's do a quick recap of what is MIUI, how to get started with MIUI, we will learn about the Sync Fusion controls for MAUI. We'll get started using them and create our first Sync Fusion MAUI project. What is MAUI? .NET Multi-Platform App UI is a cross-platform framework for creating native mobile and desktop apps with C Sharp and XAML. MAUI provides flexibility to write cross-platform apps from a single shared code base in Visual Studio. Now, the first question that came in my mind, and you might also be wondering why .NET MAUI is there when there is .NET Core or .NET 5. Let's take a quick look at the differences between them. .NET Core is an open source framework for building applications that can run on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. .NET Core has evolved from the .NET framework to provide improvised performance, modularity, and cross-platform capabilities. Whereas .NET MAUI is a framework built on top of .NET Core, now it's called as .NET 6 and beyond, is specifically designed for creating cross-platform mobile and desktop applications. .NET Core builds applications that target Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and you might have also developed applications such as console applications, web applications, and other microservices. Whereas .NET MAUI focuses only on mobile and desktop application development, enabling you to create applications that run on Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android with a shared code base. Now, I mentioned the point called shared code base a couple of times here. I will take you through a deep dive into it later stages, but let's now focus on the differences at this moment. Now, the .NET Core has been around for several years and it has reached the end of its major version updates with .NET Core 3.1. The .NET Core is now superseded by .NET 5 and other later versions. .NET MAUI has been introduced by Microsoft as a preview in .NET 6 and it is expected to become the primary framework for cross-platform application development going forward. It also aims to provide a unified development environment. Finally, to conclude, .NET Core or .NET 5 or later versions are used as general purpose framework for cross-platform development to build console, web, and other microservice-based applications, while .NET MAUI is a specialized framework for building cross-platform mobile and desktop applications. Let's get started by installing the latest version of Visual Studio. Notice that there are three variants of Visual Studio that are available to download. The terms community, professional, and enterprise are often used to describe different editions or versions of softwares or services. In general, community is an open source version of software or service that is freely available to the end users. The development and maintenance of community editions rely on contributions and support from the user community. The two other options, which are professional enterprise, are paid versions with enhanced features and better technical and business support. In this session, we will focus on using the community version of Visual Studio, and let's get started by downloading the same. Let me click this link to download the latest version of Visual Studio. To save some time, I have already downloaded and installed the community version of Visual Studio 2022. During the installation process, Visual Studio Installer presents options to install multiple workloads. Notice that I have opted for multiple workloads such as ASP.NET Web Development, Azure Development, Node.js, and others. However, it's very important to select .NET Multi-Platform App UI Development option throughout the installation process. Once the installation is completed, let's now focus on Sync Fusion. Now that the Visual Studio 2022 has been successfully installed, let's concentrate on the Sync Fusion MAUI controls 
and learn how to configure them. Syncfusion has created more than 1800 plus feature rich components that can be used by the developers for building modern mobile and desktop applications. Syncfusion team has done a great job of developing sophisticated and comprehensive controls in a variety of categories, including grids, data visualizations, navigation, sliders, editors, calendars, schedulers, layouts, and many more. Please refer to this link for more details. The scope of this session and the series of upcoming sessions is to use the Syncfusion Essential Studio for .NET MAUI that can be used to build the mobile applications. Now that we have completed the prerequisites of installing the Visual Studio, the next step is to download the Syncfusion Essential Studio for .NET MAUI from this link. Please choose the appropriate platform and download format and install the controls on your machine. The Syncfusion team will send you the instructions, I mean the installation instructions, after the license has been obtained. I will skip the configuration steps and proceed with the next steps. Once the Syncfusion is installed and configured, the next step is to add Syncfusion to the Visual Studio project. Let's now start the Visual Studio 2022 by creating a blank project. Let's open the Visual Studio and continue without code. Choose the extension on the navigation bar. Click on Manage Extensions. Search for Syncfusion. You should be prompted with multiple Syncfusion extensions. Ensure to choose .NET MUI extension for Syncfusion and install the same. Notice that the Syncfusion plugin is already installed on my machine. Let me close this one and restart the Visual Studio 2022 again. Let's start the Visual Studio. Create a new project. Notice that we have now a Syncfusion template studio as a template to choose. Let's select this and proceed further. Create a new project. Let's choose autocomplete here. Proceed with the next steps. Proceed further to the third step. And by default, notice that .NET 7.0 is selected. Let me click on create to create a new project. Once the project is created, notice that the Syncfusion template has created the appropriate platforms as well as its own XAML files along with the main page .xaml. Let's expand this autocomplete features .xaml. Notice that we have autocomplete feature .xaml .c -sharp file and it has built a default social media view model consisting of the options to choose for the autocomplete by default. In the next set of the sessions, we'll see how to expand this model and create some customizations around this. For now, let me run this program on the Windows machine and see what is the rendered output. Notice that the debug mode is running the application as a Windows app with autocomplete text box of Syncfusion. Let me type something here to select the values from the autocomplete option. The autocomplete control is working as expected in the Windows app. In the next session, we will take a deep dive by customizing the autocomplete control and will configure this to run on the Android device using the Android SDK manager. That's all for now. Thank you for listening and have a great day.